Welcome to part 6 of Integration by Partial Fractions. This lesson deals with matters that I did not have the opportunity to present in the previous five parts. The first is, all linear and quadratic factors are assumed to be irreducible. That means they cannot be factored further. Therefore, if you see the factor x squared, it is treated as a repeated linear factor and it's broken up into a over x plus b over x squared. And a factor such as x squared minus 9 is factored into x minus 3 times x plus 3. The second matter concerns a rule that applies to all integrals of rational functions, not just those that deal with partial fractions. If the degree in the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree in the denominator, we have to use long division first. The two examples in this lesson are of this type. Before we begin, we need some terminology. We all know that 7 over 2 is equal to 3 plus a half, but let's write it in long division notation so we could introduce the terms. 3 is called the quotient, 2 is the divisor, and 1 is the remainder. Whenever you use long division and get confused about which term goes where, just draw this little picture, 7 over 2 on the side, then you could follow the scheme. Here's example 6. See the same degrees in the top and the bottom? That means we have to apply long division. So you take 2x squared minus 10x minus 5 and divide it by x squared minus 5x minus 6. What do we put on top? A 2, because we have to match the 2x squared. 2 times the divisor gives us 2x squared minus 10x minus 12. Draw a line. The next step is to subtract. So the only thing left is the negative 5 plus the 12, and that gives us 7, the remainder. Now we write the given fraction as the quotient 2 plus the remainder 7 divided by the divisor, x squared minus 5x minus 6. The given integral now equals to the integral of 2 plus 7 over x squared minus 5x minus 6. Integrate to 2, we get 2x, and the second integral is the same as the integral we did in example 1. So I'm just going to fill in the answer, and we're done. Here's example 7. Look at this integral. The degree on top is 5, and the degree on the bottom is 4. That means long division. Let's multiply the denominator out, because that's going to be our divisor. x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 3 equals 2x to the 4th plus 4x squared plus 3. Now let's do our long division. What do we put on top? That times the x to the 4th has to equal to x to the 5th, so it has to be an x. Now take x and multiply it by the divisor. We get x to the 5th plus 4x cubed plus 3x. Draw a line and now subtract. The x to the 5th dropout, we get negative 3x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 9x squared plus x. Now on the very top, we need a 
negative 3. Because negative 3 times x to the fourth gives us negative 3 x to the fourth. Now keep multiplying, we get negative 12 x squared minus 9. Draw a line and then subtract. We have the remainder. x cubed plus 3 x squared plus x plus 9. Oh, how did we know we were done? Because now you have the third degree, x cubed, and the divisor was x to the fourth. So the original fraction is equal to the quotient x minus 3 plus the remainder divided by the divisor. I'll write it back in terms of the factors because we're going to integrate. The given integral is now equal to the integral of x minus 3 plus that fraction. We'll integrate the x and get 1 half x squared minus integrate the 3, 3x three plus the integral of the rest. And what you see is the same integral as the one in example 4. So I'll just write down the answers, QED. This completes the series on integration by partial fractions. Hope you learned from it and enjoyed it. Bye.